brought in a counterfeiter from Cuba, right? Well, Sal spent a couple of months trying to print the money himself, but none of it was worth a damn. The color was wrong, printing was cockeyed, you name it. He needed someone who knew what the fuck they were doing. So he used his connections and found a man named Alvarez. And this Alvarez was also counterfeiting money for Castro. Most of our enemies counterfeit American money. Hell, some of our allies do too. Sorry, he's gone. What do you mean, he's gone? All you had to do is drive down to the goddamn lighthouse and pick him up. It's not my fault Alvarez is running all over the goddamn place. I wanted to lock his ass up, but you wouldn't hear of it. The last thing we need is Zaraga finding out that we treated his nephew like dog shit. You understand? Then Lincoln Clay comes in shooting the shit out of everything. Lincoln Clay. Lincoln Clay. I'm so sick and fucking tired of hearing about this cocksucker. He's just one man. A fucking nigga. We're skating a thin line here, Tommy. You understand? This thing falls apart. We fucked all of us. So, what the fuck would you do? What the fuck would I do? Listen here. This ain't rocket science. If that fucking nigga got to Alvarez, it means he knows about the play. He's gonna come after him. You understand? Get your ass down to that motherfucking gym and protect them. Yeah, sure. I'm on it. This shit ends right here, right now. No more fuck-ups. According to these reports, Tommy Marcano had the money press in a boxing gym he operated. Tommy knew Lincoln was coming for the plates, but he felt he had to keep up appearances. The second he started canceling fights and shutting the place down was the second people started thinking he was out of his league. He wasn't about to allow that to happen. How did Lincoln Clay gain access to the gym? He had me track down a man named Alcy Bennett. Alcy is a small-time hustler that worked for Sammy until he double-crossed him and was kicked out of the hollow. After that, he scratched out a living recruiting fighters for Tommy's jungle fights. If he vouched for Lincoln at the door, Lincoln could get in without a big ruckus. Alcy's by the briar patch, not far from here. I'll stop by and say hello, see how he's getting along. <laughs> Have fun. <laughs> well, fuck me running. If it ain't Lincoln Clay. Surprised to see me, Alcy? Mm, I heard about Sammy and Ellis. Tough break. I guess you made it out okay. Speak of them once more, and I'll slice you from here to asshole. Let's go. 
I'm taking a drive. Assuming I don't have a choice here. What do you think? <sighs> Lead the way. Tommy Marcano holds his jungle fights, right? It is. And you've been recruiting black fighters for him. I have. Good. Because I want in. What? Why? I wanted you to know I'd have told you. If I'm sticking my ass out like that, I need to know why. Motherfucker, you lucky to be alive after what you did to Sammy. You really think he wouldn't notice you stealing all that money? Look, I paid for that a hundred times over. Six years, Ben, is the only place I ever call home. Christ, I couldn't even go see my mama on her deathbed. You made your choice. And now it's time to make another one. And I do this. You get a clean slate. Come and go through the hollow as you please. Fuck. Okay. I hear if you win out, Tommy meets you in person. That true? He likes to size up the winners. See if there's someone he wants to bring on regular. Or if they're just a one-time deal. Where's this happen? Usually up there in his office. One of his guys will meet you in the locker room after the fight. He'll take you to time. All right. Fighters don't take the front entrance. We go in through the side door. What's this? This? This is Jack Nav Johnson. What's he here for? Fuck you mean what he here for? We here to fight, boy. Gotta search him. No weapons allowed. Do what you gotta do. Watch where you put your hands, motherfucker. Save it for the ring, dipshit. Go ahead. Locker rooms down here on the end. Hang back, boys. We ain't yet. Motherfucker needs a doctor. Just dump him in an alley. Let nature take its course. You good now. Go on. How you know? Where you at, I'll see. All right. I gotta go make the arrangements. Give him your name as such. You go on and get changed. Who you got with you tonight, Elsie? New guy. Yeah, new guy looks tough, but my money's staying on the brawler. I gotta ask you something, Elsie. What's that? Do all you niggas love beating the fuck out of each other? <laughs> so what happens if we get caught? Probably what you think. <sighs> For a chance to go home again, it's worth it. No matter what happens, we should go. This is it. You nervous? Should I be? Guess that depends on where all this ends. You're gonna head through these doors and they announce your name. Then make your way to your corner. Where are you going? Oh, I'll meet you there. This part of the show is all about you. They love showing off their fighting niggas. Get in there, me. And the jungle fight continue, boys! The next challenger to face Nick Boom Boom Beaumont comes in at over six feet tall. Weighing approximately 220 pounds, this is Jackknife Johnson! That's it, that's it! Show me the love! Mm. 
Mm, bitch. Yeah. Who next? Yeah. Let's get it. Who next? You got a long ass face, dude. Look at his face. Boom boom was picked back compared to the brother. You gotta keep moving and don't let him get you in the corner. Stay out of the corner. Got it. Alright, let's get it. Come on, in the bell. Come on. Oh, oh. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Don't get counter. You know. Counter, yep. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mother weak ass nigga. You ain't nothing. Laid his ass down. Yes, sir. Let's get it. Are you the champion? He lean, he lean. Do you know why they call him Grave Digger? Because he's Digger's. Well, yeah. Fake ass Undertaker. Really, really Man, my name Link. You know how many bodies I caught? Let's go. Come on. Get your ass up. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'm going to just counter your ass. Come on, big boy. Come on, big boy. Come on, big boy. Come on, big boy. Mm, mm. Mm, mm. Mm, right in the corner. Mm, bitch. Mm, come on, big boy. Mm, mm. Mm, mm, bitch. Come on, come on, you a champion? You a champion, huh? You a champion? Stop it. Yeah. Weak ass champion. This ass out of here. Why was he stuttering? You must think I'm some kind of goddamn moron coming in here like you did. I've never been one to shy away from a calculated risk. Maybe you should have. Mix some vegetable oil in. Makes the gasoline thick, sticky. We're just gonna let it soak in a little bit. Work his way into every nook and cranny. That way, when I light it, that shit's gonna burn like napalm. And you, you are gonna hurt like no one's hurt before. Fuck you. Guess you ready to die. You still be conscious as the flames creep up your legs. But as they burn, you'll be hit in the gut with a sickening revelation. Before you die, you gonna feel your... <laughs> 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 Out. Only thing needs working out of your funeral arrangements. Hell 
that's that, then. Sure looks that way. You know, Sal wanted me to go to law school. Work for some big company. Maybe run for office. Do something decent with your goddamn life, you understand? Should have listened to him. It's in the blood, you know. Yeah. You are who you are. No point in arguing with yourself about it. Fuck you. Let me, boy. Please. Say hello to Lou. Tell him Sal will be along shortly. No, no, yeah, no. walking. Come back. Come here. Fast, bitch! Switching out ammo! Just a matter of time, black bitches arrive. Grabbing some cover!
I'm going to hunt. Poor dumb fucker. Who? Try another spot. Stay, God damn it. Huh? This boy is dead.
This boy just keeps moving. This way! Cover my ass! Got a big deposit! South Downs! Be there soon! I need some covering fire in South Downs! You got it. We'll be around shortly. I got this! in South Downs. You got it.
Sal Marcano stole from the Federal Reserve. I don't recall. I understand you supplied the heroin Georgia was selling. See? Si. Certo. I never wanted that in my city. Shit like that fucks with people's heads. Makes them crazy. Stupid. Brings down too much heat. Bourbon? No. I do not drink. George, you tell you why I wanted to meet. You said the nigger killed your brother? That you wanted to discuss a deal between the two of us? My brother Tommy was a smart kid. He could have been anything. I tried to tell him to go to college, even offered to pay for it. I apologize for your loss. I'm building a casino across the lake. I had it all worked out, including how I was going to pay for it. Now it's all a goddamn mess. <laughs> you want my money. Well, I'm going to need enough to finish the construction. It ain't going to be cheap. I want to hear you say it. Say what? That you want my money. Say those words. Please. I want your money. This is good. <laughs> then I will bring you the money, and in exchange, you will let me sell heroin in your city, and you will not interfere in any way. Sure. Whatever you want. But that's not the only and reason. And you wish me to kill the nigger. Hmm? I will do that for you as well. I enjoy killing the niggers. Jesus Christ. That's where Sammy's used to be. No one wanted to live there, so they uh, paved it over. Every now and then, something knocks the hell out of this country. Rattles it so hard, isn't much left but the foundation. And as painful as it is, we hope that this time things are going to be different. And that when it's time to rebuild, we won't just repeat what we've done in the past. And that maybe justice and peace will finally prevail. Justice and peace are hard, ain't it? Sometimes too hard. So we take the easy way. Finally. South Downs belongs to us. Tommy was smart and set up some solid, low-key rackets there. Should be a smooth transition for us. We may have different motivations for doing what we're doing, but there's no denying we're damn good at it. Making more money than our people have ever made. Don't slow things down now. Shit didn't play out my way last time. I did everything you asked, and still, nothing. Eventually, I'll get over it, but sliding this district my way would sure speed up the process. Didn't even know you were working that part of the city, lad. Hope you had fun. Share the wealth, Lincoln. What do you think Marcano is doing out there while we're sitting here with our thumbs up our asses? Wait till they see the Irish rolling up the streets. We talk about making m I done my best to honor Perla. Can you return the favor?
Trust ain't something that comes easy to me, kid. But I wish it did. Don't lose your head here. Come on, kid, wait. Gonna need Vito to run this turf. No, no. I can't believe I ever let you talk me into this. I'm not just gonna sit here and allow you to lie to my fucking face. Hey, hey! I know you're used to your little Haitian boys bowing to your every whim, but that shit don't work around here, Cassandra. So cool it. My patience. My understanding. It's gone, Lincoln. You correct this course we own, or there ain't no words that can walk us back from where we headed. We're all after the same thing, Cassandra. Mixing it up between us isn't getting us anywhere. You've said your piece, Cassandra. Let it go. I'm sure things didn't break the way some of you were expecting, but this is the way I think things should run. <laughs> 